Mainly, I, I take photo of uh, living here in Acne Week and uh, like feeling, feeling to be part of Acne Week and uh, feeling like being part of the community. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ah, here there are some pictures of some bikers passing by the Olympic site. This is the Olympic site and this is the River Lee. The um, market, the flea market, you've probably been there. It's Eric. And Tom is another DJ. This is the Hackneywick flea market, um, just outside the Olympic Zone, actually. Yeah. Um, we don't really talk about it that much at the moment because it's not like not quite here yet. But um, there's really not much effects. To us, beside uh, the dust, you know, the dust is the main thing because like, is it probably the dustiest area in London at the moment? Anyway, uh, you always have to mop every every couple of days, you know. It's just really dusty because of the big, big uh, building site. Everyone starts from point one. Everyone starts from point one. This is actually one person collection. So you see from on this wall here all the way to here. There are more collections to look at. So as you can see everywhere in all the shelves got the the tag for the whose collection they are. Um, so it's a bit like a library really. Um, here there's about forty five thousand records at the moment. So um so basically bring them all in in all different kind of conditions. We'll um check them, clean them and then put them onto our shops and when they sell we'll send them out, you know. Hi, this picture here is in the shadow of the Olympics. Uh, his wife He's uh, an art director, and here we go. And uh, her daughter, his daughter, is uh, like a character. Yeah, so this is uh, where the little one lives. <laughs> we just built that on top of the studio, and um, yeah, you know, it's like. When you've got space, you can you can make it work to however you want it to, you know. And that's what the gr great thing about this warehouse space is like. They're just white cubes, and then you make them work for you. I've been in the wig, I think, for what four years, four and a half years maybe. I was looking for space really. I, was, uh, I wanted to build up a studio um, after finishing um, film school. Kind of was always like my dream to kind of have like a setup where I can do both my music and my um, my sound editing. A lot of nice place has been knocked down. I mean, especially um, like putting the lane and so it was like a lot of warehouses with, uh, with lots of artists living there. I'm not keen in fruit. I'm keen in ice creams made of fruits. <laughs> Processed fruits. <laughs> so with my mum, if she calls me, you know, to, to ask how you doing, then after a while she says, did you eat fruit, did you eat fruit? It's processed food. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Um, yeah, all the art you see in the room is from um, artists from the area. I've been kind of um, being friends with them and subventioning them in my own way. And that's it, I decided to keep all, I've got lots of stuff. Here is my place where I, I re rehearse. My bedroom at the same time. Come in, it's, yeah, it's my bedroom where I sleep, I rehearse, I spend my life, really. Um, I'm um, I'm not a really kind of social person. I really like just to drum, sleep, and work. 
I'm a waitress originally, that's it. I work in restaurants, I, I wait people. But I've got driving as a passion and that's it, this is my place. I've got a bedroom here to sleep that I built. And uh, here my living room. Uh, it's quite small, but a few of my friends, we had already a few parties, five, six people here, which was a fucking cool time. Um, you know, uh, um, the landlord has been super cool for uh, letting us do whatever we wanted to do with this place. And um, it's why Acne Week is Acne Week, really. of pounds a week on getting rid of the graffiti on the canal. Why did they get rid of it? For the Olympics. So it looks clean and nice and but you know they clean it off. It's like the wall like down there, the pub wall where there used to be a pub next door. They've got a big white wall up there. And they paint it white and then every time every time they paint it white which is weekly someone paints over the top. Mmm what a lovely white wall <laughs> and then it gets painted white. Mmm what a lovely white wall. <laughs> Same with down the canal. There was some beaut there was some really like not just like graffiti like to classic graffiti tags. There was like a beautiful washing line what someone had done with pegs and monsters and all sorts of amazing things. It was beautiful and um, and they got rid of it. And not really very well either. So rather than it looking like a really lovely piece, it was just sort of like this dirty, rubbed out mess like. Put this teeth down there as well. Look. I have my cat here. Can you see the teeth as well oh, down yeah, there? That's right. I've been here for about 11 years now. A little bit. The train didn't even used to stop. But it's been changing since then. A lot of artists, same as that, you know, that's the place how it gets developed, isn't it? The, the artists move in, create a bit of a scene, people want to move in, rents go up. After this Saturday, no. A few drinks and a few hee 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 ha ha ha's, it turned into 100% beef beefcock <laughs> and the tits burster. And we were going to be the tits burster. But now we're both beefcock and tits burster. I suppose there's a, bit, there's a higher police presence. Um, shops, cameras, coming up. cameras, cameras yeah, everywhere. A lot, yeah, a lot of, oh, a lot of cameras. Mm. <laughs> Kinda peace and more to come, room. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I suppose the initial reaction is that you hate it and you don't want it happening, but um, it's always been changing this place, and you've sort of got you've got to embrace the change because there's not really much you can do about it. Um, I don't know. It's strange. It, I can't. Yeah. I, I still can't really quite get my head around the fact that it's that it's here on the doorstep. Like, um, I moved to Hackney Wick in July last year, so that's July two thousand and ten. This picture here was uh, shot here in the studio. This is of um, Jenny Wickham, a ballet dancer who's working on Chicago the Musical in London. You want it like every day. I want to be to be shooting athletes all the time every day. It would be really exciting. So. But when the shoe really started to work was when we were doing Concentrate More and stuff she wanted for her portfolio. And we started just jumping around and doing different dance moves and things. So yeah. Seeing all the Olympic stuff building up and building up has been quite exciting. But for example, the, the stadium was there already when I got here, but moving, you know, moving all the stuff over and setting up the studio was quite exciting. Like, that's the Olympic stage. I think it'd be quite a good drive and being so close and, and shooting a lot of sport. It's a shame I'm not a more slightly more higher profile 
uh, photographer with a bit, lot more campaigns under my belt. But still, I think it will definitely be a benefit. I think and the little the, the flicks of her hair, you know, it's just it's luck. You know, you get good frames and bad frames. I guess you'll just be able to hear everything as well. You know, like people cheering and stuff when the events are taking place and stuff. It's, it's that close that, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be really, really exciting. And probably quite a few tourists wandering around not knowing where they are and, and things like that. So, yeah, it's going to be very exciting. To be so close to the, to the Olympics is, is crazy. What they're doing in Stratford. You know, that's how I imagined it would be here. You know, just like ripping everything down, building everything up. Everything is like really, just like really cold and heartless and, and just, you know, just, just, just developments. I don't know how much can be done in a, in, in, in a year. I mean, this is London, it's, it's like, things change so quickly, you know, it's like, we might not recognize this place in a year's time. One day, maybe I will I will be able to make a, an exhibition of all the people speaking about you know Hackney Week and the people that they live in Hackney Week. The best time to to put them on an exhibition will be probably during the Olympic Games or or soon after. <laughs> 